All right, so I've been sitting here thinking about the digital cushion, studying about the digital cushion. Now you're probably going to hear some more noise in the background. I thought I would make an imitation digital cushion um, just to see how the thing worked because even the name of it, digital, um, it makes you think that it cushions the cough and bone itself. But if you look at the picture, if you look at the picture, now look here. Where's the biggest amount of the cushioning? It is here going going back into here. See there? Here's the coffin bone. That's all the cushion that's under there. Really. Maybe some on the sides of the coffin bone which go over to here, but but what I'm thinking about here is the distal is the second phalanx or the short coffin bone. Okay, which is uh, P2. Is P1, long pastern joint, or bone, uh, short pastern, coffin bone. Of course, there's your navicular bone, and we know that needs to be cushioned right there, right? Okay, but I want you to see something, and something I noticed when I was doing dissections. Okay, now here is, here are your, wait a minute. See if I can do this. I don't have a navicular bone in there, but we're still okay. Here's our our joints. Okay, let's pull this back a little. Here's our joints. When the horse walks, okay, this short pastern descends down like this. It's like the whole suspension system. The you know the foot. Other than when standing, when the foot hits the ground. All this suspension system going to work here uh, softens any blows so that it's not the full force because of the weight of the horse because it's, a, it's just like the suspension system on your car when you have shocks and struts and springs and all that keeps it from from bottom aiming out boom boom okay so so all this here works together when your horse steps and if you watch a, a picture of horses running this short pastern descends way down like this it can even the ankle bone back here okay can even almost hit the ground like so okay now one thing I noticed when I did dissections on the digital cushion here I made a little digital cushion here's the frog of course, the frog would be tougher than that. But here's the digital cushion. And really, this is what the digital cushion is like. You press it, it springs back into place. That's that fibro fatty cartilage. If you've ever chewed on a piece of fibro fatty cartilage off a piece of beef or something like that, you cannot chew that. Your teeth just bounce on it. You know? Okay, so... so here we're going to set this into the foot here. This would be the back half. This would be where your heels are. Back here. And I'm going to show you something that um, I have discovered. Okay. First of all, this is the way your coffin bone sets. Right here with the positive angle. It does not set ground parallel. Okay. And look at the, look at the point in the bone here. Okay, the coffin bone is, first of all, most of the time, they're just not flat. See, they have this little, uh, it goes down right here. Okay, so this is the way that coffin bone sets in the foot. Okay, you've got cartilage here, a, a thin layer of what's called collateral cartilage here that this is sandwiched in between, um, like this. See, these cartilages keep that. They don't go like that, but and they don't go all the way around like that. But that cartilage there keeps that digital cushion contained between the cartilages. Just pretend this back part isn't here, okay? But them cartilages sandwich in that, that uh, digital cushion like so. Okay, kind of up like so. Let's see, they'd be in there. Okay, so here's the deal. 
Okay, what does this really do? Okay, it might it, it cushions cushions this part of the coffin bone a little bit right in here for sure. You know, when it comes down. But you've got hoof wall there too and sole. So and that's pretty solid. This part here is pretty solid. Okay, now it's gonna protect anything that might hit under here, but really what does this do? And I noticed this when I did uh, a dissection and I still had um, the short pastern bone attached okay now these cartilages are thin right here okay and um, what I noticed about them here we'll make that is here here we go is that when this descends down these open up like that the cartilage opens up like this but it's what the digital cushion does that's interesting which I want to show you okay now we know that um, running down here is a deep digital flexor tendon that has a lot of, uh, uh, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's stretched very taut, okay? And so when this goes down like that, that deep digital flexor tendon is going to be wanting to pull it back up like that. But another thing that happens is when your short pastern bone hits the digital cushion, this is what happens. It descends down. And that digital cushion pushes it back up. Um, it, it, this, it keeps the short pastern bone from bottoming out down here. See there? Let's put this back. Look here. When you do a dissection, this is exactly what happens. You push that down. That digital cushion is pushing up on it the whole time. See? So when you got your horse and he's running and that short pastern bone descends way down, first of all it cushions it so it don't so it don't bottom out like that. Okay? And it also helps it pushes it back up. Pushes it back up. That's pretty cool. See, he's not going to bottom out. He's going to push it back up. See there, this is why you got to have the right kind of digital cushion. An anatomically correct digital cushion. Imagine jumpers. Okay? Um, any horse that really lands hard with all its weight on the heels and on the front feet and jumping and stuff like that. Okay, and that, that pastern bone comes way down. You're going to want a good digital cushion back here and a good frog. Okay, because you got digital cushion, but you got to have thick frog too. This much frog underneath. See, you want that much sole. See, actually the foot would be this high. Okay, you're going to want at least an inch of sole there. Okay, so this, see there? That's how that works. Okay, so I hope that taught you a little bit more about the digital cushion. Again, look at that. Isn't that cool? That's what the digital cushion does, primarily, I think. I'm sure it has some other functions, but there we go. Part of the suspension system of the whole leg, actually. Okay, hope that helped you and taught you something. Taught me something. Okay.